Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my underrated game series, and today we're going to be talking about the TurboGrafx-16, the Wii U, and the Wii. Every year games go unnoticed. Titles just living in filth, cowering at the back of a store. They're trapped. They're scared. They spend their days on their nights on the backlog, never to be played, forever sitting on a shelf. Here at Mondane Designs, we're committed to searching every dark corner to find them and to help heal the deep physical and emotional wounds that have been inflicted on them. Your subscription is urgently needed, so please sign up now. It costs nothing, and you'll help games that are suffering. The situation is urgent, and so we're asking you to subscribe and like this video. So the first game that I got here is uh, on the TurboGrafx-16, and I'm pretty sure that I got it while I was uh, purchasing my TurboGrafx-16, and I got it at the local Toys R Us. Uh, I think it was when the system was not being supported too much anymore. Uh, you know, like, like I said, growing up uh, in my neighborhood, one kid got a Genesis, one kid got a Super Nintendo, and I got the TG-16 because I didn't know any better and I, didn't, and I thought that it was a true 16-bit system, um, but it wasn't, uh, as people have now discovered. But I didn't regret buying the system. Uh, and honestly... I didn't regret getting all of the games that I got for it. It was uh, a very unique experience for me as a gamer, and I got to have things that no one else had. Um, later, people got, you know, the kid that had the Super Nintendo got the Genesis, and the get hit kid that had the Genesis also got a Super Nintendo, and I eventually got a Genesis and a Super Nintendo, but no one else got a TG-16. So, the first game that we're going to be talking about here is Double Dungeon. Now, uh, Double Dungeon is one of those kind of grindy RPGs where it's all first-person based, where you're just going through a, uh, a dungeon, and it's very much a classic RPG. And, well, classic first-person RPG. Um, <clears throat> now, I grew up with... Dungeons and Dragons, because as many of you may know, uh, my dad was the actual first dungeon master in uh, in Alabama. And um, yeah, because he won a set of the rules before anyone else could even get their hands on them. So back to Double Dungeon. Uh, it's definitely a very good throwback to classic, you know, D&D style adventuring. You run around, you kill monsters, you gain experience, you grind a little bit, you purchase, uh, you know, weapons and stuff like that. And, you know, very, very early stage, very grindy. <clears throat> but on the TG-16, it's a classic dungeon crawling RPG that is definitely sure to please any fan of the genre. Uh, the game features a fairly okay story. I mean, you, you, you go to say, save the princess. Uh, it's got a wide variety of weapons to collect and, um, you know, some challenging turn-based battles. Uh, the graphics and the sound are, I wouldn't say top-notch, but for the system and the era, it was actually uh, acceptable. Uh, I really did like the soundtrack. Um, <clears throat> there is some replay value here if you're trying to do anything like speed runs or uh, try a different method of, of like getting through and making some different choices, you know, trying to, um, you know, get through the game at the lowest level possible, that kind of stuff. One of the really fun parts is the co-op feature, which definitely allows players to team up uh, to take on the dungeon together. And, you know, this adds a little bit of strategy and fun to the game because you kind of have to work together to overcome certain obstacles and bosses and stuff. Uh, and it was it was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed playing this game and uh, I, I think it deserves a little bit uh, more, well, just people need to look at it a little bit more. Um, 
I'm not saying that it's for everyone, but I definitely enjoyed my time with it. Next game is one that is, again, gets a lot of hate. Uh, and I, I, I kind of get why, because if you compare it to some of the other games in the series, it doesn't really match up that well. However, I played this with my family, and it was always a blast. And it was kind of just a really good dynamic in my family going through and playing against each other and stuff. And the game is Mario Party 10. And I know what you're about to say is like, oh no, that's a terrible game because all of the characters are piled up into the buggy together and they're fighting against the Bowser and stuff. But when it was just me and my wife and our granddaughter and stuff, it was, it was magical. Um, I, my wife and my granddaughter got to team up against me. I usually played Bowser you know, with the gamepad and stuff, and um, it, was, it was fun. There was more laughs than there were frustration and stuff. And honestly, this is... The, the experience that I had with this game clearly is not the experience that other people have had with it. Oh, yeah. Mario Party 10 for the Nintendo Wii U is a fun and lively party game that is sure to delight players of all ages. The game features a wide variety of mini games that are easy to pick up and play, yet challenging enough to keep players engaged. But the graphics are colorful and vibrant and the controls are intuitive and responsive. One of the best things about Mario Party 10 is the variety of modes it offers. In addition to the traditional board game mode, the game also features a new Bowser Party mode where players team up to take on the nefarious Bowser and his minions. This mode adds a new level of excitement to, and strategy to the game and is sure to be a hit with players. The game also supports up to five players, making it a great option for a family game night or parties with friends. The game is compatible with the Wii U gamepad, which allows the player who is playing as Bowser to control the board and throw obstacles at other players. Overall, Mario Party 10 is a great game that offers a lot of replay value and is sure to keep players entertained for hours on end. If you're looking for a fun and lively game to play with friends and family, Mario Party 10 is a great choice. The next game I'm going to talk about is a big, big hit around my household. And I, I, I can't even imagine how many hours we've put into this game and how much fun we've had. And yeah, it's not like the most amazing title ever, but the, uh, the value is more in the memories of playing with my family and experiencing this amount of fun together. And uh, it is unparalleled in that respect. I know I just got done talking about Mario Party 10, but honestly, uh, this, came, this game act absolutely eclipses it all the way. And that game is Nintendo Land for the Wii U. Uh, just all of the different party games, even the solo games, when other people were a little bit tired or something like that, and they wanted to take a break, uh, and you know, one or two people wanted to keep playing, you, you could do that. And you could find something else to play where you could keep the fun going and stuff, and then you know, people could jump in and jump out and all of that stuff. And it was it was just such a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I'm really hoping that that Nintendo will recreate like something like this on the Nintendo Switch. But Nintendo Land for the Nintendo Wii U is a collection of mini games that showcase the capabilities of the Wii U gamepad. The game features a variety of different attractions each based on a Nintendo franchise such as The Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, and Mario. 
The graphics and sound are top-notch, and the controls are intuitive and responsive. The game features a wide range of mini-games that are easy to pick up, and yet challenging enough to keep experienced players engaged. The game also supports up to five players, which is perfect for game night and family night, just like always. One of the highlights is the use of the Wii U gamepad. Each attraction is designed to take advantage of the unique features of the gamepad, such as the touchscreen, gyroscopic controls, and the built-in microphone. This adds a new level of immersion and interactivity with the game and makes it stand out from a lot of other party games. Overall, Nintendo Land is a fun and engaging party game that offers a lot of replay value and is sure to keep families entertained for hours on end. If you're looking for a unique and innovative game to play with friends and family, Nintendo Land, you can't go wrong. So the next game we're going to talk about is probably my favorite racing game on the Wii. And I know that there's not really a lot of racing games on the Wii. I mean, there's like the Mario Kart that's almost on every single system. And yeah, it's, it's, it's Mario Kart. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. But what I'm going to be talking about is underrated. And uh, not a lot of people talk about this game. And... I absolutely love it because one of the great features that it had was you could pop your SD card out of your Wii, load some MP3s on it, and then play those MP3s while you're racing. And that that set this game very, very apart for me. Uh, Nintendo was not known for doing stuff like this. Microsoft lets you do stuff like this with the Xbox, but... Nintendo, not, not so much. Um, so this was a little bit off the beaten path for them. And uh, speaking of off the beaten path, the game we're actually talking about is Excite Truck. Excite Truck for the Nintendo Wii is an off-road racing game that offers a fast-paced and action-based gameplay. The game features a wide variety of tracks, each with its own unique terrain and obstacles. The graphics are colorful and vibrant. The controls are intuitive and responsive, utilizing the motion sensing capabilities of the Wiimote. The game is fast paced and action packed with players able to perform stunts and tricks to earn extra points. The game also features a wide variety of vehicles to choose from, each with its own unique abilities and attributes. Overall, Excite Truck is an off-road racing game that offers a lot of replay value and is sure to keep players entertained for a very long time. If you need a fast-paced, action-paced racing game, Excite Truck is the choice for you. So it should come no surprise to you since I'm talking about one racing game, I'm going to talk about another racing game. And uh, this one, again, it got a really bad rap uh, and it's because a lot of people were confused. They were confused about, is this game a sequel to game A over here, or is it a sequel to game B? And honestly, I just kind of looked at it and I was like, why can't it be both? And um, honestly, why should we care? It's actually a really fun game. And that game that I'm gonna be talking about is Excitebox Trick Racing. Now this game, a lot of people think that this game is a sequel to Stunt Race FX, which, I mean, I, I can kind of see that, or that it's a sequel to Excite Truck, and, you know, it has Excite in the name, so, um, yeah, I, I, honestly, I, I think it's both. Um, this is another series I really wish Nintendo would kind of, like, bring back and, like, let us have it again on the Switch, because it just feels like it's missing, um, just like F-Zero has been missing from our lives. But <laughs> Excitebots for the Nintendo Wii is an action-paced racing game that offers a unique and thrilling experience. The game features a wide variety of tracks uh, and a very interesting variety of vehicles or bots that you actually play as when you're racing. Um, when you're, you know, when you're racing and stuff, uh, 
You have the ability to transform into different forms, such as a robot into the car and, and like walking and running really fast instead of using your wheels and stuff. And it, there's a lot of like oddball strategy around this. Uh, I have not mastered it whatsoever. But again, it, just like every racing game, it does feature a multiplayer mode, which allows people to race against each other, you know, for top spot and stuff like that. And it's, this game, really just did not get the attention that it deserves. Um, overall, Excitebox Trick Racing is truly a, a well-deserved, action-packed, thrilling racing game. Uh, it offers a lot of replay value, and it's definitely sure to keep people entertained. Honestly, if you're looking for yet another exciting racing game, um, I think this is one that a lot of people have kind of missed the boat on and yeah, you should check it out. So this next game is uh, one that I actually discovered on the PlayStation 3 and it was kind of an odd circumstance, just stumbled across it and had some fun with it and actually was uh, entertaining my dad so much that he was, he, he ran out and bought me like the next game in the series and the next game in the series and the next game in the series. But we never knew that this game existed on the Wii. And uh, I discovered it years and years later that there was a Wii version, and I knew I had to have it just because this game with the Wiimote controls was just... It just felt like it was a match made in heaven. And the game I'm talking about is Overlord Dark Legend. Now, Overlord Dark Legend for the Nintendo Wii is an action-adventure game that offers a unique and engaging gameplay experience. The game features a dark, twisted fantasy setting where players control the powerful Overlord and command the hordes of minions to do his bidding. The graphics are dark and atmospheric, and the controls are very, very well done. It utilizes the... the uh, Motion sensing, cap motion sensing capabilities of the Wiimote very well. The gameplay is also fast paced, action packed, with the ability to command your minions to attack enemies, solve puzzles, and interact with the environment. The game also features a wide variety of enemies, boss battles, each with their own unique abilities and weaknesses. One of the big things is being able to upgrade and customize your minions, allowing you to tailor them to your playstyle. The game's story is actually pretty well written and engaging, with a good sense of humor and dark tone that fits well with the game's fantasy setting. Overall, Overlord Dark Legend is a fun, engaging action-adventure game that offers a lot of replay value to keep people entertained. If you're looking for a unique, engaging game with a dark fantasy setting, Overlord Dark Legend is a great choice. And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.